Okay, so I have this Excel file with uh, some QM data already. Uh, so if I go in to one of the inspection lot number, let's take a look at, okay, so I have it on the screen. So we just let's go in and take a look at the current date. So 0103.12 to 14 and that's what I think I have uh, in here and then at the next line if we take a look at we currently have 11 2014 to 11 2015 so that's what I have so let's make some changes to these values so I'm gonna make it 1 1 2013 and then let's just make it 1 1 2014 and make this guy maybe something that's from today 3 16 2015 to maybe 4 16 2015 so I have this two days so I'm just gonna copy it over for all of this records as well it could be different dates as well doesn't have to be just makes it a little bit easier so I have a new dates that I want to change to this are the lots and it could be any columns and this are the operation number so this is how it is so now I have a process runner and uh, it's already uh, we already have a file that's been recorded and we're going to use uh, that Excel, that, that file, the process file, and it's going to use that Excel file. We're going to use the data from Worksheet 2. I think that's where we have a data. So we're going to use that, and I'm going to run it. So it should go and update. And let me make sure that I actually exit out of this. I don't want to lock this guy. Okay. So I'm going to exit out, and I'm going to pick the session that's running, the SAP session, and I'm going to ask it to run. So this example, it uses as uh, process runner's GUI scripting technology, and I'm going to show you some other methods of updates as well. So it's running, and we should hopefully see some records uh, updated, and we should see all that is coming back. So it has a loop, so it's running two lines uh, because it's the same inspection lot numbers right it's about four of them so it uh, looks like all of them have executed and now if I go in for the last line we're expecting today's date in a month out uh, on the second characteristic so this is the one I think let's just cut and paste it just in case uh, so this is the one that we have and then yeah four nines and if I go to the second line we are expecting today's date and a month out. So that's as for what we have in Excel. In 1-1-2013 one, one, to 1-1-2014, one, one, that's what we have. Let's just take this one and see what's uh, what it shows. Okay, I need to get rid of them, all of them. And then it shows 1-1-2013 one, one, to 14, and then a second line. Uh, we're expecting today's date and a month out, right? So it's showing that. So all of those got changed into SAP. So this is a, one of the method of uh, updating the dates and then many other thing on the result recording, inspection log result recording screen. Now, uh, I have another example, which is, I think, quite interesting, where we actually have everything done in, a, in Excel. It's Excel uh, ready file. Where what we're doing here, we actually can download first. So for example, I have inspection lot and operation number. We're gonna use the same value. I just wanna get out of this, so it's not locking, locking this guy out. Okay, and then I'm here, and then I can first download. That's a BAPI to download, and there's a couple other ways to upload or update the dates or, or anything else, but I think we just created for the date. So first I'm gonna go and download. So those value that we just up uploaded in the previous example a few minutes ago we should be able to see and download it right so here I'm picking the same system and running in so now it uses the standard BAPI standard SAP delivered BAPI and then it's gonna go and extract all the information here for us all right so there you go you can see their inspection characteristic internal number their text their characteristic type and then dates that we just had updated and this is inspection lot number and operation number is actually writes back so we can use it for upload 
right? So because it's one too many, what we fed was just a one record and it came back with a multiple, right? So it's all connected right here in the last few columns. So let's just make everything look like one one two thousand and twelve maybe to one two thousand and thirteen. I know these dates don't make much sense, but I'm just using it so that it becomes easy to remember uh, when we go and validate, right? But you can have your correct date, so it's say three three two thousand and thirteen. All right, and then again, I'm just gonna copy it over. Okay, and then I'm gonna pick. Uh, uh, that's a way to I can update with the BAPI or I can update the transaction. So I'm just gonna use the BAPI again, just so that you can get a flavor. That there's many ways to update the date into SAP. So now, uh, you know, I'm gonna pick the same system and I uh, will let it run and you, we should see the results uh, coming back, the run results right here as it runs through it. See that it says successfully completed and let's just go and take a look at what's out there. Uh, we're going to take a look at maybe the last one and we're expecting 2-2 two, two to 3-3, three, three, 2012 and 13. So QE23, I'm just going to mute this guy. Uh, and then I think that's a run. And then we are expecting two, two to three, three on the last one as we have, and one, one to one, 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 2012 to one, one, 2013, right? So that's what we have, right? So it's kind of doing, and I'll just pick randomly maybe at this one, whatever this is, right? Uh, 902, and then we should see about the same results here. Right, so I'm going to cancel out, change this value, and then go back here, show the dates, 1-1-2012 one, one, to 1-1-2013, one, one, and the next one, right, 2-2-2-3-3-2012-13, two, 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 three, three, and 13, right? So it's kind of showing us what it should, what we have in Excel, right? So it's fairly easy, and I can even run it with the transaction. It's going to exactly the same way. So there's many ways to do so you know, extract even and then change it and put it back or just simply go and put it back, right? Whichever way you want to go, you know, you can do so. Hope uh, this video was useful.